Yes, there it is, just like that. Even before Efren Reyes became known to the world of pool, there was a legendary Filipino player who dominated the game both locally and internationally, winning over a hundred tournaments in the United States, in Asia, and all the way to Europe. He is known to be one's most lethal and most feared competitor by both foreign and Filipino players. He is called Amang and a billiard king in the Philippines and a giant killer in the United States. The one who initiated the Filipino pool invasion throughout the entire American population. A three-cushion champion, a rotation wizard, and a great snooker legend. He is no other than the great Jose Barica. Why don't you get rest and play me again? <laughs> FM Reyes, Mr. Jose Carrera. Today, we are going to look at a match between two legendary Filipino players, Efren Reyes and his most challenging opponent, the giant killer, Jose Parica. This is once considered to be the largest pool tournament participated by over 900 players worldwide. This is the World Pro Tournament 1988. This is the final match, a race to nine game, Jose Parica won the lag and will be breaking. He successfully made a ball and has an opening shot. Jose Parica is a Filipino professional player from Manila, Philippines. He was born on April of 1949, five years older than Efren Reyes. He is nicknamed Amang or Uncle in English. He is called this way. Maybe because he always dominate in pool events and overrun his opponents. Parika won the first two racks and has been breaking a really good. He makes a very delicate 3 to 6 combination shot which totally opened up the rack. Unfortunately, he overheats the shot on the 4, now he is snookered behind the 9 ball. A really clever attempt and he almost made the 9. Now Efren Reyes finally got his chance after 2 rocks, waiting. Efren Reyes needs everything he has to be able to beat Jose Parica. This match is a winner's break format. Whoever wins a rack will break next. Efren Reyes is about 34 years of age during this time. He has been joining tournaments across Asia and in the United States during this period. Recently, Efren won the Sans Regency and Nine Ball event in the US twice in a row in 1985 and 1986. We move now to rock number six, Parika leads 3 to 2 from Reyes. He makes a ball on the break with a shot on the one ball. The problem in this rack is that the four ball is blocked by the six green ball. But watch how he managed to solve it. With great judgment and accuracy, he managed to land a shot for the four ball next. Now he has an open table and a possible easy run out. This match was held in Tokyo, Japan in the year 1988. This is rock number 7, Jose Parica, to break. He makes a very powerful break, but the cubo had too much action and ended up scratching. Efren got his chance, but the same thing happened. He makes the one ball, but the cubo scratched. A wasted opportunity for Efren as Parica will have ball in hand.
at age 25, Parika garnered fourth place in the Tokyo International Open Championship. In 1978, Jose Parika became the all-around champion of the International Japan Open at the age of 29. He makes a very simple save here, completely snookering Efren behind the 8 and 9. A failed attempt as Efren missed the 7 after a 1-rail kick shot. Now Parika will have a back-to-back -back combination play, winning him the rack. An easy 7-9 combination ended up the rack for Parika. Now he leads 5-2 against Efren. He breaks the 8th rack solidly and luckily makes a ball. He makes the long shot on the 1 ball but landed a little too short for the 2. He did not risk the cut shot so instead he makes a perfect safety and hit the cue ball behind the 9 and 7. Uh... Efren tried a two-rail escape, but totally missed it. Parika now has an open table and an opportunity to run out. As you observed, Parika does not take risks too often. He instead makes easy patterns, weigh his options, and make wise decisions along the way. He then takes advantage of every mistake that his opponent makes. Parika is a very intelligent player with a lot of confidence. We jump down to rock 10. Parika with a huge lead of 7 to 2 against Efren. Parika makes a very good bank on the 4 with position play on the 5 next. In 1976, Parika organized the Philippine Pocket Billiards Association and became its first president. He also participated in the World Open Straight Pool Championship and tied for 9th and 12th place. As he forced a shot on the 8th, it wobbled but it still went. Jose Parika is now on the hill, trailing 8 tracks to 2 from Efren Reyes. Unfortunately for this rack, he did not make a ball on the break. Now Efren will have the chance he has been waiting for, but at this point of the match, he still has a long way to catch up. Like Efren, Jose Parika has a background in three cushion billiards or the angle game. In 1979, Parika was the Philippines' national three-cushion champion. Pool players who have backgrounds in three-cushion tend to have superb cubo control and amazing kick shots. Filipino players Efren Batareyas and Francisco Django Bustamante joined Parika in taking over the American circuit in the early 1990s. American players were overwhelmed as these Filipino players dominate their events and tournaments. Now Efren finishes the rack but still is behind 5 racks from Parika. Efren breaks the 12 rack. He made a ball but unfortunately doesn't have a shot on the 1. He can play a push but he has to be very careful. He makes a dangerous push because Parika can see the whole one ball. Parika attempted to shoot the one ball on the side but he missed and luckily landed on a solid save. Now Efren is in a very difficult situation because he is snookered deep behind the five ball. Now he has to find a way to kick the one ball. A very big disappointment as a friend kicks the one ball in but ended up scratching. He went for a two rail kick shot and makes a perfect contact on the one ball. But the cue ball had so much spin on it and drifted down on the same pocket. Parika has now ball in hand 
and has an open table. In his prime, Jose Parica is one of the top money makers in pool. He won over $300,000 in a single year. He dominated pool tournaments all over the United States and throughout Asia. Parika was the only player to win a perfect runout match of 9-ball under race to 11 format without misses or fouls. And now the 9-ball for the win. Jose Parika won this match against his fellow Filipino player, Efren Reyes. Jose Parika won 5 million Japanese yen, or equivalent to $47,000, which is over 2 million pesos. Efren Reyes still won 2.5 million yen, or $23,000, or over a million pesos for second place. Carlos Strickland got the third place, winning 1 million yen. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe for more interesting pool content. See you in the next video.